we can create and open a model space view by clicking on the model space and immediately we can already see our 3D data. Now I have this hand selected and we can start with this hand option which allows it, which is view mode. We can start to look around the data and we can see what we have and it's labelled some of the stations for us. These were the positions of markers uh, that were used during the scan. We can see that from this one scan there are some areas that are just black. There's no data because they were behind other objects. At least I can't see through something solid. We can also see we can see through different glass windows and we can see some of the objects inside different offices. Now if I want to focus on somewhere else I can set my seek point. So the seek point is where all my camera movements as I turn around it's all rotating around the seek point. So I put the seek point here on this frame of this window which is going to allow me to look around and see inside this office. The data is clearly not very good there and we should never use data that's been scanned through glass because it's refracted by the glass and that means that the data points are not accurate so we can't actually use this data for registration or for anything that requires any form of accuracy at all. We would need to provide other scans inside this room to get that data accurately. Go back to seek. Now there's a hotkey for this. Now you see as I move over I get little hints on what each button means and some of them have a letter as well after the mode. So seek is the S key. So just by pressing the S key you can see this icon is going to change between the seek icon and the view icon. So just by pressing the S key. So if I want to move my point of view and perhaps look more around to the right, I can rotate there. And just moving the mouse left and right, I can turn left and right. Moving the mouse up and down, and if I hold the middle mouse button, I can zoom in towards the seek point and I can zoom out and I can see pretty much the whole building if I zoom out like that. And so we can see the whole of the sort of scan area. I was talking about light refracting. The light also reflects on glass. So we see we've got some interesting looking points way in the sky. This is actually just the result of reflections on the glass skylight and some of the lights reflected and bounced back into the floor or something and it's that reflection has actually been picked up by the scanner and so it thinks there are these strange floating surfaces in the air and obviously at some point those points would need to be removed from our, our models. So put holding down my middle mouse button and pushing the mouse forwards and backwards I can zoom in and out. It's worthwhile just practicing with view and seek to just try and move around the model and look at different areas and get comfortable with these controls.